Well, good morning, and welcome to the Calico and Potomac Mini Garden Railway. And what you're seeing here is supposed to be the depiction of a desert scene with the red lava rock. I built this Mini Garden Railway uh, back in 2015. It was a couple of weekend project in preparation for a Garden Railway Society meeting that I held here at the house. This is before I had the High Line put in, where I run most of my live steam trains now. But every spring, this is what I have to deal with. The goal was to create a mini garden railway that would require as minimum maintenance as possible. So I took care and precautions to put down weed block and then put all this lava rock on top of it. But unfortunately, over the years, we have the droppings of the buds and things from the tree in spring and it gets in between the cracks of the rocks and it deteriorates and turns into a nice little compost for the seeds of the weeds to take hold. And so these are taking hold on top of the weed block and then their roots go down into the weed block. So the plan today is to go through and clear all this out, get it cleaned up, and we're going to move into the next phase of this little mini garden railway and actually get some plants in here to represent the desert in the form of some succulents. So, what do you say? Well, let's have at it. So, let me show you what I deal with every spring. I'm going to bring up a handful of this stuff. I don't know if you can be able to see this. see all this brown stuff here. There's a grackle. This is, uh, these are the little buds that come out on the silver maple just before it leaves out and so all of this gets down into the rock here and now you know I used to be able to go through here and pull up excuse my sniffles springtime I used to be able to go through here and pull up you know just the rock and there wouldn't be anything else but you can see that over the years I've now got quite a layer of topsoil in there. So here's a piece of landscape fiber that I've pulled out. And you can see how thickly matted all of this these weeds are and how they're all using the landscape fabric as their foundation. And they're holding all the rocks in place. So this is going to take a bit of work. I mean, look, look at that. I mean, there's look at all those rocks. They're just being held right in place by all of the the weed roots and everything. And maybe the best thing to do would be come in here with a flamethrower and burn all of this out. But I've got a PVC track base, and I don't want to be melting it or melting the ties on my rails. So yeah, this is, this was supposed to be a maintenance free garden railway with weed block and rock. So before I get too far into this section, I thought I'd show you that yes, down below all that, if you see that white road bed, that's the PVC road bed, you can see the ties, you can see the rail, you can see the track down there. Yeah, that's prohibiting any sort of operations right now. You can see how thick this jungle is. I need my guys with machetes down there clearing out this jungle. You might think that I was modeling something down in the Amazon Basin instead of the Mojave Desert Basin. So we got to get this all cleaned out. But you can see, looking at this section I just started here to pull up, you can see how deep by the lip of the cement around the flower bed, you can see how deep all that stuff built up in and amongst the rocks over five years. Mm -hmm. 